Hey, welcome to this video and thank you for tuning in for the very exciting launch of version 2.1.3. This has been many months in the working and as you can see here in front of you with all the blank post-it notes on your screen, there's a lot of things we've added to the software and I can't even cover them all, otherwise this would become a webinar of an hour. And we don't wanna do that. We keep this short and concise, but some very exciting things to tell you about. So if you decide to join us, these are the type of updates you can expect as well as a valued customer of SketchWow. So really it all begins way at the bottom here of your screen. We really rely on, you know, just feedback. And a lot of the things you tell us is, you know, are there any plans to add blank feature you know can you improve this certain feature and make it easier better faster whatever and last but by no means least yes we do pay close attention to when people ask for refunds luckily our refund rate is ridiculously low but we very much want to know what people want to see in terms of improvements so we rely heavily on feedback from our valued customers uh, just to really give us the direction of development and any update you've seen us release over the past like you know one two years or so has been a direct result of feedback and the reason I put the little turtle icon here is because <laughs> this release was a lot slower than usual anyway let's jump in here and move on to the show here the first feature which was the number one star of the show is adding this presentation annotations module which you, allows you to actually create very interactive very highly engaging presentations by utilizing some elements within the presentation that allows you to make things a little more exciting so let me just pause this video i'm going to jump into the actual presentation mode and show you what it's all about number one is we click on this present button here up in the upper left hand corner and as you can see it goes full screen and there's a few things i want to kind of draw your attention to if you hover on the bottom here, you'll see this little toolbar pops up and there's all kinds of cool things we can do. So there's a spotlight tool. So we can highlight certain areas of the presentation just to really zero in your focus as I'm doing right now on these questions you see down here, which we just talked about, right? Also, there's something you can use called the laser tool, which basically creates lines on the presentation, but they disappear after like a few seconds. So I can circle that. I'm not gonna have that be a permanent circle on my presentation. I can just underline things temporarily, leave them, uh, draw attention to a smiley face here. So the laser pointer is great to really engage people and focus on specific parts of your presentation, right? Uh, really cool to use that. There's also the ability to add text if you want to. and you can go ahead and change the background a color of that text if you want to to the yellow to stand out so kind of like a post-it note a sticky note you can add that there as you're delivering your presentations right live or recorded also you can add the pencil marker or brush pen if you want to a few options there right so it just gives you a lot of choices in terms of creating these interactive elements you know as you're presenting and as you're going through and explaining whatever it is you're showcasing your presentation add in these interactive elements so we're really excited about this because we know that a lot of existing SketchWow users use SketchWow for presentations because it just creates these really cool hand-drawn style presentations which we know are, are very engaging very different much more personal than your typical vanilla google slides or powerpoint right so this is waiting for you uh, inside version 2.1.3 the new presentation annotation module which we're very excited about and excited to see how you can use this in your presentations when you exit it asks you if you want to save your presentation annotations so all the little notes i made here and the underlines it'll actually save those within each specific slide in your SketchWow document. So now you can actually preserve those annotations or you can just click don't save and we're not gonna save them. So a few options are for you. Uh, and again, we're real excited to release this to our existing customers. You'll notice that I added a little race car icon here. The reason being, you may have noticed this if you're very observant, is that the animated lines you can see here are moving at different speeds. Again, big feature request was you wanted the ability to control how fast or slow the animation speed is and to do that you just click on the animated line here you see animation speed I can go crank it up to like four if you want to go super hyper mode it might be a little irritating to the eye so we'll go back here to you know 2x and leave that so real simple to modify that again it's a small feature but you know what people have asked for it enough times we thought let's get this added 
in this new version, okay? So moving right along here is the auto align. This was should probably be number one because this was by far the biggest feature request that we've seen to date. So if you click on an icon, it'll show you now and give you these guides to show you, you know, if things are lined up. This little guy here, you can see on the left and right now, it shows you that it's equal spaced between the left element and the right element. And it just gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of how you arrange things on the canvas. Of course, you can also go to the background and click on grids. It's a handy little secret many of you may have missed. And this just gives you a little bit more guidelines to visually eyeball things if you want to, or you can turn the grids off. It's entirely up to you. But these alignment guides were, as I said, one of the most requested features we've seen to date. And you can right click and there's also some other options to align, center, left, middle, or you know, horizontally, vertically, all that kind of stuff. So Go ahead and try the alignment tools. I know those will be very, very helpful just to make your, you know, your designs a little bit more symmetrical, right? So on to the next feature request. Uh, again, this was a big one. For those of you that are doing design work or creating designs in SketchWow that you want to export for a printed book or something that's a large format, like a large printed poster or something that's high definition, you've been asking for SVG export for many months, so finally, it's there, it's available now, waiting for you inside version 2.1.3. Moving on here, uh, scribbles. These are kind of cool. I mean, a lot of the elements you see here, these little hand-drawn doodles, these are in the new scribbles library. So you click over to here to scribbles. I added a bunch of these here, and they're just really neat ways to add accents and to, again, more, more attention-getting graphics onto your photos or your existing images or in a presentation like you see here. And a lot of these images, like this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy, these are all from the Scribbles library. So I encourage you to dive in there, take a look at the Scribbles. Um, they're just really neat ways to add, again, these hand-drawn elements with some color uh, to your actual presentations or any any designs you create within uh, SketchWow. We've also added a few more icons, depending on, on if you're a standard member or a pro member. I'm running SketchWow standard that you see right here. So everything I'm showing you in this presentation, all these icons, all these images, and the template I'm using right now, you can see in front of you, is all taken from a SketchWow a standard account. I just want you to know that. So let's jump on to the next slide here, fonts added quite a bit new fonts to this new version. And of course, you can find those under the text menu fonts. You can scroll down, see all the fonts we've added here. Okay, a lot of fonts there. Uh, one in particular that's pretty cool is this font here, which is, you know, sometimes you don't wanna put in exact text or exact words. You wanna just put in, you know, the blah, 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 or lorem ipsum if you use once in a while. Or you can use this redacted script a font. And it just gives you the ability to kind of put in just some Anything you type, it actually shows up as like these scribble lines. So just a different way to add, you know, just some random placeholder text into any uh, wireframe you create or a mock-up or even just, you know, if you're trying to show where content would be on a website or in a, in a document. So that's kind of a cool one that we added that I, I kind of like personally. Let's move on to the next one here, image crop. Uh, again, this was a big one. I know a lot of you are importing images into SketchWow. A lot of you want to you know, add your logo or client logos or whatever. And sometimes you want the ability to just crop that uh, that image a little bit. So let me show you what you can do here with the animated icons because this is the same kind of a, of a premise. Let me put this one over here, put the penguin over here. So you can you know crop if you want to and just show the penguin's little face here like this, and you're gonna, gonna remove and crop out his hands or her hands. So now all you have is just the little, you know, smiley face kind of thing. So you can do this now as well with any images you import into SketchWow. Also, you can adjust the opacity. Sometimes you wanna dial the opacity down, and then you can simply go and left, right click rather, and um, you can lock this in place if you want to, make it as a background image. And that's a neat little way to kind of take images, dial down the opacity so they're faded, uh, enlarge them and lock them as a background image and use those with any type of visuals and images you want to create with uh, SketchWow. On to the next slide, a brush pen. This was something we did get some requests for. People wanted the ability to make the, the hand-drawn tool look a little bit more natural, like you would if you're using a, a marker or a brush pen where it has that pressure sensitive tip, you know what I mean? Let me show you rather than talk about it. So if I go click on the brush pen here, so if I 
just hold my mouse and draw slowly. You see how it's a thick line? If I draw fast, it gets thinner. You see that? So I can go thick and then thin, you know what I mean? Um, it just has more of a natural kind of effect um, than, you know, the existing marker pen tool. So that's available now. If you're using a, a tablet hooked up to your computer, then definitely the pressure sensitivity of that pen on your tablet will now transfer over to the actual canvas here within SketchWouse. That's a nifty little add-on we added again based upon the feedback you've been giving us on what you want to see, features you want to have in SketchWouse. That's available now. And last, but by no means least, the easier ability to select elements. A lot of the improvements we make to SketchWow aren't exactly new features sometimes. Sometimes we go back to the drawing board and say, how can we improve the existing features? How can we improve the usability of the software and just make it easier for users to, to use the software? So what we ended up doing was we made it easier now when you go and drag your mouse and highlight even part of an element, it's going to highlight all elements. So this here, if I just go and just highlight one section, it highlights it all. You know, I can go and just click on the actual turtle head, it highlights it all, right? Uh, and if you're trying to highlight multiple things, um, rather than have to go and do a huge, you know, uh, drag square around the elements, I can just go and get lazy and say, oh, I'm going to just do this and only highlight part of the elements. And now I can drag those around. You can right click and group them. So again, just very handy, especially when you're navigating a, a busy diagram like this here, for example, if I want to highlight just the middle elements here, I can just go very precisely, click on those. Uh, oops, I try it again. Click on those and then just move those around rather than worry about actually highlighting other elements by mistake. So again, a small little feature, but it does make a big difference in terms of making SketchWow easier to use and more fun to use. So that's about it, folks. There's things I'm missing here I won't dive into, but we've made a lot of small improvements behind the scenes. Believe it or not, even though we just got version 2.1.3 out the door and it took months to get this sucker <laughs> into your hands, the team is already diving into the next version of SketchWow, adding more features, adding more templates, adding more icons, and again, packing the software with all the best features that you want to see. So keep those suggestions coming in. Again, as you can see, we are truly a company driven by your feedback, by your comments, and we love it. So keep it coming. I hope you're excited about this. This version is waiting for you right now to download and update your SketchWow software. I'm signing out for now, but we'll talk to you again real soon. In the meantime, have yourself a great day.